So for this week's animation uh, task, what I'd like you to have a go at is seeing if you can make a traditional flipbook animation and possibly film it and share it with me on Seesaw. So I have here um, a little notebook and I've just tested out the flippability, if you like, of the pages. I think this is going to make it quite a nice notebook to draw in. Now you could use post-it notes or you could grab uh, four or five sheets of paper together um, and maybe fold them into a little book so you can flick them. Um, or anything you can grab really that gives you this opportunity. Now remember, you're gonna end up drawing whatever you decide to do an awful lot of times. So I definitely recommend that you keep it very simple. So in my case here, it's super simple. I've got my stick person. My stick person is really nice and easy. Um, for me to draw and my stick person what they're going to do is I'm going to get them to uh, crouch down and then jump up and the idea is that they're going to grab the trees so I'm going to get them so their legs go really quite wide and their arms go wide too and have one here. Now I'm using the Sharpie here and it's actually quite fortunate that the Sharpie is kind of going through the page because it gives me a, a rough onion skin of where they were previously. Now I've just done the four images there. Uh, I'm just going to give it a quick test and just see if I'm on the, on the right way. Yep, doing all right. So now my stick person is going to stretch their legs up. And on the next one, they're going to start to take off. There's the head up there. Just do the body. And on this one, I think what's lovely about drawing these sort of drawings is you can try as many times as you like, trying different things out. Let's get them They're actually holding on. Okay, and on this one, and also it's really good if you can try and make the movements. So, um, not much happens each time. If you move them too far too quickly, then they will um, not look as realistic. So the more frames that you can put in, the better. So let's make this person swing all the way over to the right hand side and what you can do, I mean you can use your imagination there, maybe this person then is actually going to slide down the side of the page and have another go at drumping up. And then I've got to move them over a little bit. See if I can get them to walk a little. And then they can have another go. Let's see if they can jump up. So they're back to the start now. Now, if you want to keep it really simple, you could just draw somebody who, oops, I forgot the name body there. Somebody who is um, just a smiley face. Something nice and simple. If you want something more challenging, and see if you can get them to do quite complicated movements. Oops, I think I missed their body out on the last one. Oh no, I don't So same again, I'm gonna get them crouching right down. And then we're going to jump up and see if they can do a better job of swinging across this time. And you can see why it's so good now that I've actually chosen a stick man to draw because uh, they don't take that long to draw each one and using the corners is good because it's easier to flick the corners uh, than it is to flick if you're drawn in the middle of the page so let's see if I can do a better job this time of getting into grip on 
happy start to make his arms reach up. They just moved up a little bit. His arms are up here now. And this time, let's make him successfully grab on. And then we can make him swing off across the trees. Let's bring that arm round. And the next one. Let's move the body around a little bit. Leave the arm there. sure how this is going to look but it's all about practicing and just enjoying and having a little fun it doesn't have to be uh, brilliant we're just seeing and really getting a good understanding of how animation works so I'm going to stop there just for a minute and just have a quick look at my flip book and just see steps a bit smaller or make it something really simple I put, probably tried something a bit too ambitious here so I'd want to go and have another little practice oh that looks quite nice there that little jump that I've got in the middle there but the idea is we've got each page is worth a frame of your animation so anyway have some fun and I can't wait to see your final animations